Here's a question for you. Let's say you happen to have a nuclear warhead, and you might ask yourself, how safe is it to be around it? Because nuclear warheads contain, you know, a fair amount of highly enriched nuclear material. So you might be tempted to think that your nuclear warhead is radioactive. But the real question is, are they? At face value, it might be logical to think, yes, warheads are radioactive and can be easily detected. Because, after all, they do contain enriched nuclear material. But there are factors we need to consider when thinking about this. The isotopes and the other materials in the bombs themselves. The two most common isotopes used in nuclear weapons is uranium-235 and plutonium-239. Uranium-235 has a half-life of around 703 million years, and plutonium-239 has a half-life of around 24,110 years. So that is roughly how long it takes for each to fall to half of its original value. They both decay relatively slowly. Half-life doesn't really tell you how radioactive something is at face value, but it can tell you how fast something decays over a set span of time. If an element undergoes more radioactive decays over a set span of time, it'll be more radioactive than another element that undergoes less decays over the same span of time. Of course, there are different types of radioactive decay and radiation, which also matter, so it, you really can't determine if something's more radioactive or not just by half-life. Anyway, both uranium and plutonium are strong alpha emitters, meaning they decay through, well, alpha decay. Alpha radiation has a very low penetrating power, generally not strong enough to penetrate through paper or skin. So it's kind of counterintuitive to think about, but the cores of nuclear bombs aren't a big radiation hazard unless you eat them. Like, you don't want to be around them if you don't have to be, but you're not going to die immediately from being next to one. Alpha emitters are still very damaging inside the body, so you would still want to wear gloves when handling it and make sure you don't have any on you when you leave. Both will also sometimes undergo spontaneous fissions, producing neutrons and gamma radiation. But these events are relatively rare, so the rates at which you would be exposed to either aren't very high. That being said, if a core did go critical, they would emit a very high dose of neutron radiation and likely kill everyone in the immediate vicinity, as the famous Demon Core accidents demonstrated. But the bombs are made to not go off in storage, so the cores are very, very unlikely to go critical just sitting in their casing. And speaking of the casing, this brings up the next point. Modern bombs, both pure fission and thermonuclear, utilize implosion-style designs. I tried to find if any gun types were still in use, but as far as it would seem, no, they, they aren't anymore. Unless someone has a homemade one, as they would be much easier to build than an implosion type. An implosion style bomb has the core surrounded by layers of high explosives and encased in a tamper made of uranium-238. I can't get super detailed descriptions of modern nuclear warheads for obvious reasons. The internal geometry is probably different and there might be some new stuff included, I don't know. So, I'm going off older designs and just basic principles that probably still exist in modern weapons. Uranium is dense and a very good radiation shield, ironically enough, so most of the radiation from the core, alpha, beta, and gammas, are blocked by it. That being said, uranium-238 is still radioactive itself and an alpha emitter, so the tamper is also giving off radiation. The layers of explosives around the tamper shield the alphas and betas, meaning the only radiation you will likely to detect from the outside is the occasional gamma and neutron. So, what is the answer? Are nuclear warheads radioactive? The answer is technically yes, but not in a way that matters. If you tried, you would probably be able to detect some of the gammas and neutrons coming off the warhead, but at levels that were very low and not worth caring about. The tiles in my kitchen are probably more radioactive than what you'd get from an intact nuclear warhead. I wasn't able to find details, but it would seem that with sensitive equipment at a relatively close range, you would be able to detect unshielded warheads, probably. So yeah, technically the answer is yes, but functionally the answer is not really. Thanks for watching my video. 
If it wasn't obvious to begin with, this is not real. This is a one-to-one -one scale 3D printed replica of an M388 Davy Crockett nuclear bomb, the smallest nuclear bomb ever developed. And I just put one of my americium pellets inside of it to make it, you know, radioactive. But it is a hollow plastic shell. In fact, you can buy one of these as a kit on my Etsy shop, link below. Uh, it doesn't come painted and finished like this. I did this to this one, because this one's mine. And I'm actually gonna use it as a toolbox because again, it's hollow, it can, you can put stuff in it. So yeah, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you have surplus money and wanna buy a one-to-one -one scale Davy Crockett, please do so.